Out in the tropics we go. Hurricane Earl, the latest as of 10 o'clock. Winds are still at a whole, only 105 miles an hour. Now I say only because it is not a major hurricane and did not become that. And it looks like this will be racing toward the northeast during the course of the weekend. At some point tomorrow, we will see Earl become post tropical, meaning it is no longer a tropical system. It's lost those characteristics, which also means that Earl will cease to exist. So at some point tomorrow, we will not have any active named storms in the Atlantic Basin and why that's important for tomorrow, because tomorrow is the peak of hurricane season. Two waves we had been watching gone. Only one that the Hurricane Center is even mentioning is still over Africa with a low percent chance of developing the next three to five days. So through the weekend, we remain quiet. So by September 10th, tomorrow, we have had five named storms, two hurricanes, and no major. On the average, we would have already seen eight three and one. So at the moment, we are still on track to have a below average season. Of course, we still have the second half of the season and the second half of the season can be very busy for Southeast Louisiana. This is looking at the number of storms between September 10th, the peak of the season and November. So basically the second half tropical storms. We've had 12 come within 50 miles of New Orleans three cat ones, two cat twos, three cat threes, and six category four. So we can still get major hurricanes in southeast Louisiana at this time of the year, but thankfully nothing going on. In fact, the Gulf of Mexico is very hostile thanks to this upper level low and troughing. Note the dry air down to our south. That's been at times kind of mixing in and along for some breaks in the clouds, little sunshine, but otherwise this upper disturbance has been keeping our rain chances around by the midday and afternoon. That will continue for the rest of the weekend. By late Sunday, Monday, it weakens. Here comes a cold front and with it, some drier air. As I said, humidity really hasn't been all that bad, but it's going to get even lower by early to uh, Tuesday morning, not tomorrow morning. We have to wait till early next week. Dew points will be dropping 50s and 60s across the area, and that looks like it's going to hold with us until about Thursday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all a better feel. Not exactly a fall like feel, but for mid September, not bad. Next couple of days, we'll have the scattered showers, thunderstorms, a few isolated downpours, and then that drier air moves in by middle of next week.